So guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, 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 we gotta do the one chip challenge. The what? The one chip challenge. There's this one chip that's super hot, but once you eat it, you're gonna spit it back up. It's so intense. You might cry, you might sweat, or even throw up, dude. It's that hot? Bro, it's that hot. We should all try it. Oh, oh, oh I got three of them. We're gonna try them today. Well, Cody, are you gonna try it? Guys, it's a potato chip. It's not that hot. Well, I want to see you try it then. Okay, let's see what the pamphlet says. It says if you can last one minute, you're powerless. 10 minutes you're powerful, 30 minutes you're supercharged, in one hour you're invincible. Dude, you're not gonna last 10 seconds. Guys, this is a kid's game. I'm a man. I can handle a potato chip. Then eat it, Cody. Yeah! Okay, fine, I will. Let's take a look at this stupid thing. It doesn't look that hot. Ow. Is it hot, Cody? Mm-mm. Wait, wait, it's not hot at all? Mm-mm. No way! Maybe it's expired. Yeah, it gotta be expired. Come uh, on. I wanna try it. I wanna try it. I'm gonna open this one up, dude. Yeah, if it's not that hot, I wanna try it. Yeah, hold Are on. you sure it's not hot, Cody? Wait, wait. Nope, it's not hot at all. Wait, Cody, why is your face red? Oh, I, I'm just embarrassed for the chip company because they think it's hot, but it's not. Dude, you're shirtless. Yeah, I, I just wanna show you how strong I am and how weak that chip is. Wait, mm. the, so the chip wasn't hot at all? No, that chip's for bitches. So you can eat two of them, huh? I could, but I'm not hungry right now. Oh, good. Eat two, eat two. That'd be yeah, so Come on, dude. You can do it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah, do it, dude. Mm. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Come on, it has to be hot. It's the one chip challenge. You ate two. Mm -hmm. The Cody's truly a man. He's not a man. He can't be. Oh, you know, you know, what would be really cool. What? He could eat three. Dude, he would be a savage. Oh, wait, open it up, open it up. Let's try to eat three. I gotta open it up. Okay, <laughs> Cody, are you Cody? Mm. What? What? Dude, what happened to your hair? Oh, I, I shaved it to show you how much of a badass I am. It, it didn't fall off or anything. Oh, oh, wait, 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 why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm just so mad that that chip wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be. Oh, wait, can you eat three? Because if you could eat three, you're truly a badass. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, I could do this all day. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, dude. I want to so, see it. What, why is your tongue black? Oh, uh, I guess my tongue died because of how hot the chip wasn't. Oh, oh, um, okay. well, eat it then, dude. Oh, <laughs> I eat it. Oh, eat savage, it. savage, savage, savage. Whoa. Dang, dude, you really ate three chips? Wow, you finally get my respect now, bro. Well, boys, your friend Cody's lucky to be alive, but I gotta ask, what happened? Did he try to eat like a thousand bees? No, he ate three of the one chip challenges. What, three? What, is he crazy? No, he's a savage. He's only supposed to eat one, and even then, that one is dangerous. And he ate three like it was nothing. What a badass. So, like, is he gonna die? Well, see, that's the thing. He has third degree burns all over his body, his tongue is medically dead, and his stomach melted. His stomach melted? Yeah, so we're gonna have to do a stomach transplant. We're going the back and get a stomach. Well, this isn't Best Buy. I don't just have a closet full of stomachs back there. We're gonna need a stomach donor. We'll find a stomach donor. Well, see, that's the problem with stomachs. See, people need stomachs to live, so if we take a stomach from one person, they're gonna need a stomach, and then we're gonna have to take another stomach from someone else for them, and then it just goes on and on with people trading stomachs. So how are we gonna find a stomach? Well, we're gonna have to wait till we find somebody who's dead or dying and take their stomach. Well, why don't we just go to a nursing home and grab an old person and take their stomach? Well, then he'd have the stomach of, like, an 80-year-old man, and then he would only be able to eat, like, jello and tapioca and stuff. So he needs a stomach from someone our age? Yeah, and that's pretty tough because people your age don't usually die unless it's an accident. Wait a minute. So what if one of our friends that we don't really care about just so happens to die today, we can bring them to you and you'll take their stomach? Um, if somebody your age were to just happen to die, I could use their stomach, yes. Joseph, what's up? We should totally kill one of our friends we don't care about and bring him the body so we get the stomach. Oh, dude, I've been waiting on this. Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, I, I didn't hear any of that. Okay, so we're going to bring you a stomach of someone our age. Wait, wait, wait. J just bring me the body and I will handle the stomach. All right, come on, Joseph. Let's go kill someone. Yeah, let's kill our friend. I didn't hear that either. All right, Joseph. Let's name off some friends that we really don't care about. Ooh, I can name a few. Like Patrick, that kid from class. Oh, yeah, Patrick. He thinks everything's crazy. When it's not. So let's use his stomach. But, but dude, how are we going to kill him? Uh, ooh, I know. We can, we can put one of my toys on the roof and ask him to go get it. And then we lock him on the roof, and the only way he can get down is jump off. And that's how he dies. Ooh, you evil genius, you! So I bet he's outside. Let's go get him. Yeah, let's get him. Uh, hey, Patrick. Hey, guys, look at my Spider Man bounty. Sure is bouncy. Yeah, huh? Uh, Patrick, we need your help. I lost one of my toys. I need you to get it for me. Okay. Yeah, we need you to use your Spider-Man powers. Okay, I'll help. Uh, come on. See, Patrick, right there. there. There's my paddle ball right there. Why is it on your roof? Uh, I got frustrated because I couldn't do it, and it was making me mad, so I threw it on the roof. Oh, that makes sense. Can you go get it for me? Okay, this is crazy. Joseph, close the window. Close the window. I got you, dude. Uh! Why'd they close the window? I'm gonna get the paddle ball. Wait, this is fun. So now what, dude? Well, uh, eventually he's gonna get hungry, and he's gonna want to get off the roof, and we locked the window, so the only way for him to get off the roof is he has to jump, and jumping off the roof will kill him. Okay, so when is that gonna happen? Uh, well, he's having a lot of fun with that paddle ball, so... Yeah. 
Okay, maybe we should go try to kill someone else in case he doesn't jump. Ooh, sounds like fun. All right, Joseph, let's think of someone else in case Patrick doesn't jump off the roof. Ooh, how about that bully kid from class that's always bullying us? Oh, yeah, the bully. He's always making fun of us. Wait, why didn't we think of him first? We don't care about him. Right? Okay, so, so how about this? We go get the bully to come over to my house. We tell him we want to go swimming, and we say we're stronger swimmers than him. Ooh, that'll make him mad, dude. And the only way he's a stronger swimmer than us is if he can swim uh, with this weight tied to his ankle. And then he'll drown, and then we'll use his stomach, and we can let Patrick off the roof. Ooh, that's a genius plan. We take a life and save a life. Yeah, so, so let's go get the bully. Yeah, let's get his bully. <laughs> nerd, give me your lunch money. I don't have any money. I know you do. Hey, bully. What, what do you nerds want? Give me your lunch money. Uh, we, we were going to invite you to swim in my pool. Wh why would you invite me? You guys hate me. Uh, but you're our best friend. Yeah, and wouldn't you like to swim in a nice, cool pool? You look stressed. Yeah, that sounds kind of fun, actually. Yes, yeah, so come swim in my pool with us. Okay. All right, let's swim in the pool. Yeah! Wow, I never thought you guys would let me swim with you. That's really nice. Thank you. You don't know how to swim. Pussy! What? Yeah, you suck at swimming. Who? You're gonna drown. Well, I can swim. Someone who doesn't know how to swim says what? What? You don't know how to swim! I, know how to swim. I, I, I can swim! If you're so good at swimming, then I bet you can't swim with this weight tied around your ankle. Well, I bet I can. Okay, let's tie it on your ankle then. Come okay. on. Okay, are you sure you can swim with this weight tied to your ankle? Yeah, I'm a really strong swimmer. Ha, you're gonna swim to the bottom. All right, Joseph, throw the weight in there. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> We're about to get a stomach. Oh, yeah. Stomach us up, dude. Uh, all right, Patrick, you can come down now. Hey, guys. You kind of left me on the roof up here. Yeah, sorry about that, but we don't need you anymore, so you can jump off now. Okay. Hey, can I jump in your pool from here? Uh, jump into the pool? Uh, Yeah, you should be able to make it in the pool from right there. Okay, it's crazy. Whoa! Uh, what? Patrick, uh, what'd you do? Yeah, dude, he's supposed to be drowning. Guys, the crazy thing just happened. I jumped off the roof and I saw this guy drowning and I saved his life. What? Well, we were trying to kill you guys. Yeah, you ruined it. But what? I'm out of here. Whoa, Patrick, you ruined everything. You want me to get back on the roof? Yeah, get back on the roof. Hurry okay. up. <sighs> oh, Joseph, I'm so frustrated. I know. We had him, dude. He was drowning. I know, and then Patrick had to save his life. <sighs> but at least Patrick's back on the roof. But he can keep jumping in the pool, dude. Okay, how about we drain the pool so when he jumps in the pool, he dies? But it's going to take hours to drain the pool. Okay, how about while the pool drains, we get another person to come over and we get their stomach? Like who, dude? Oh, we can call it Penelope. But don't you have a crush on her? But she's a girl and all girls are the same. It's not like I'm going to miss her. You're right, dude. Juice World was right. Yeah, all girls are the same. So I'll call Penelope and just ask her for her stomach. Wait, why would she give you her stomach, though? Because girls want to be skinny, and if she gives us her stomach, she'll be skinny. Oh, yeah, she would totally be skinny. Okay, yeah, because she won't eat anymore. So let me call Penelope. What do you want, Junior? Well, there's something I need from you. Ooh, I like how this starts off, dude. Okay, well, what do you need? Well, the thing I need is inside of you. Oh, no, I'm out of here. No, 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 I promise, I promise I'm not being gross. I'm not. Listen, the thing I need is where babies come from. Oh, my God, I'm leaving. I'm talking about your stomach. I'm talking about your stomach. What babies don't come from your stomach, Junior? Yes, they do. That's why women's stomach get big when they're pregnant. It comes from your stomach. Oh, I don't have time to explain anatomy to you. Okay, listen. We need your stomach. It's an emergency. Well, why? Because Cody needs a stomach transplant or he's going to die. No, Junior. If I give you my stomach, I'll die. Well, listen, listen. Baby, listen. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Listen. Don't you want to be skinny? If you give me your stomach, you're not going to eat anymore and you'll actually be skinny. Yeah, you look pretty fat over there, Penelope. You look like a chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Look, you're gaining a few pounds. Listen, you're, you're pretty big. You're bigger than me. So listen, if you give me your stomach, you'll lose weight because you won't eat and then you'll be like a supermodel. Paper thin. Yeah, guys will actually like you. You know what? I'm fine with the way I look, Junior. Okay, you can lie to yourself, but not me. Listen, look, you get you get skinny, but we can, we can fix your face later with plastic surgery. Yeah. But listen, you give me your stomach, you'll be really skinny, I promise. Oh my God, you are so rude, Junior. I'm Leaving. No, 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 okay, okay, hold on, okay, backup plan, grab a hammer and knock her out. Okay, I got you. Uh, stomach schmummick, how about we make out, baby? Ew, no! Oh, where's she at? Oh, she left. Aw, oh, dude, yeah, I'm she's, so ready. She's comfortable in her own skin. Oh, what's wrong with these women these days? It's like they can't be manipulated. I know, she has a self-esteem or something. <sighs> I wish a stomach would just fall into our laps. Who's at the door? I don't know. Hello? Hey, uh, you mind if I hide out here for a while? The police are looking for me. What'd you do? Oh, nothing serious. I, uh, stole a video game. Well, that's dumb. Video games should be free. Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, so you can come inside. Yeah, you look cool, dude. Oh, good. Okay. So, what's your name? Uh, Purple People Eater. Purple People Eater? Yeah, but you can call me Greg. All right, Greg, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm hungry. What? The news is on. I wouldn't watch that. Breaking news!
news. The normal news anchor is on a cruise. So filling in is me, Steve Stalberger. So, breaking news. An escaped convict known as the Purple People Eater, known for eating his victims after they've decomposed and turned purple, has escaped from prison. Keep an eye out for him. He's very dangerous. Awkward. Uh, Greg, can you give us a second? Okay. Uh, Joseph, there's a serial killer right next to us. You know what that means? We need to run. What? No, 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 no. Grab the hammer and kill him. We can take his stomach. No one's going to miss a serial killer. Oh, you're right, dude. I'll get the hammer. All right. Hey, Greg. So we don't care what we just saw on the news. I mean, we know you're a good guy. Yeah, I only stole a video game. I got the hammer, dude. Wait, what's the hammer for? Uh, we're going to make a TikTok to that song, Hammer Time. Damn. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, so go, go, go. Ah! Well, kid, your friends never came back. I guess I'm just gonna have to pull the plug. Ugh, doctor, doctor, doctor! I found a guy we can take his stomach! What, is that purple people eater? Yeah, we hit him with a hammer! What, you know he eats people, right? His stomach is gonna be full of human remains. Well, you could just empty the stomach and give it to him. It's still a stomach. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I guess we can do the surgery after all! Yeah! Well, guys, I made a full recovery. I just want to say thanks for giving me a new stomach. Anytime, bud! Get, get back down here! Yeah, Cody, we wanted you to be alive, so we got you a stomach. There was a lot of people we tried to kill. Wait, what? Yeah, there was a lot of people. We had to find you a new stomach, and we finally got you the perfect stomach. So how's it feeling? Well, it's okay, but whenever I eat food, I just don't feel satisfied. Oh, uh, well, maybe because you need to eat people. Wait, what? Yeah, that stomach belonged to a serial killer who ate people. Wh what? He ate people? Yeah, but only purple people, which means after the body decomposed and turned purple. Oh, oh God, I think I'm going to throw up. Well, no, you're not. Your stomach's used to eating stuff like that. Oh. So look, maybe it's just hungry because you're not eating people. Uh, I can't eat people, Junior. Yeah, well, don't worry. You don't have to eat people, but that's probably why you're not satisfied. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't, I don't have to. <laughs> ah! So, guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, let's go to the movies. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry, guys, I can't. Ken just got this new pizza delivery job, so we have to deliver a pizza. Wait, Ken is delivering pizzas? Yeah, he's got to make money to make ends meet so he can satisfy my meat. Isn't Ken Spider-Man? Why didn't he just get paid for that? Well, no one gives him a check for being Spider-Man, Junior. He's not a police officer. No one pays him to save people. He does it because he wants to, because he's a man. Ooh, can I have some of this pizza? No, this is for the customer. We have to deliver it to... Dr. Octavius? Ooh, you hear that, Ken? A doctor. You know what that means. Big tip. And he's gonna give us a lot of cash when we deliver the pizza. Come on, Ken. Let's go. <sighs> All right, Ken, our first pizza delivery. Hello, pizza man. Hey, I got your pizza here. Perfect. Ooh, thanks for the 20. Oh. oh, this is just pepperoni. I ordered pepperoni and sausage. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I mean, it's pepperoni, so it's close. Well, oh, I'm gonna need my money back. Uh, we don't do that at Papa John's. In that case, let me speak to Papa John himself. Uh, you can't do that either, because he got fired because he said the N-word on a business call. That's outrageous! I demand a refund! Uh, I'm sorry, it's not my problem. Damn you, pizza man! I will get my revenge! Guys, 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 look how much Dr. Octopus tipped us for the pizza. He gave us 20 smackaroons. Those are like macaroons, but made of smack. You made $20 just delivering a pizza? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess some of this is for the pizza, so it should probably go to Papa John's. Dude, didn't you say the N-word? Yeah, you're right, I should keep this money. Wait, what's that, Ken? Your spider senses are tingling. We'll go save the world, baby! <sighs> there he goes. I hate to see him leave, but I love to watch him swing away. <laughs> driving my car. I'm gonna try a kickflip. Wait, wait, is that a little kid in the road? <laughs> my brakes aren't working, my car won't stop, someone help! That's so crazy. Thanks, Spider-Man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Little boy, are you okay? I'm okay. Thanks to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, you're a hero. Thank you. Breaking news. Spider-Man has saved the day again. He saved a little boy on a skateboard from being hit by a car after the car's brakes failed. Spider-Man is a true hero. I don't know what we'd do without him. That's my man. See, Junior, no one pays him to do that. He does that because with great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben told him that as he was dying of a gunshot wound. Oh, hey, baby. I saw you save that car. Uber cool. You got my spider senses tingling. <laughs> What's that, Ken? You need to go to the bank to refinance Aunt May's house because ever since Uncle Ben died, she doesn't have enough income to support herself? Okay. Sorry, guys. Me and Ken have to go to the bank real quick. Okay. See you, Cody. 
so I just got done reviewing your file, and unfortunately, I'm unable to approve this loan to refinance your home. You just don't have the assets. Oh, I guess great responsibility doesn't necessarily come with great credit. But 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 still, he's Spider-Man. Can't you do us a favor? I, I would love to, but unfortunately, you don't have the income to support this kind of loan. You just started a pizza delivery job today. Oh, well, do we still get the free toaster? Ooh, see, the free toaster is only for our customers who set up a savings account and deposit $300. Oh, I see that now. Everyone, get down! This is a bank robbery! Ah, it's Dr. Octopus! Ah! Can do something! Oh, it's you guys again! I want my $20 back! What, really? You're robbing a bank for $20? It's just $20, dude. You're a doctor. Oh, I'm robbing the bank for something much bigger. Much larger. What, like a 50? <laughs> you dare hit me? Get back up, Ken! Time for you to make a withdrawal! Look out! Oh, damn! Ken learned a block. I thought you had spidey senses. You're not gonna be very safe after this. Okay, I know you see this coming. But damn, Ken, what is with you today? What, are you losing your powers or something? Looks like the itsy bitsy spider just met the rain that washed him down the water spout. Now I'm gonna take my money and run. What, Ken, he got away! What the hell, man? You're Spider Man! Ugh, do something! Guys, 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 something's wrong with Ken! He's a doll? No, he just got his ass kicked by Doc Ock! How'd he lose? He's Spider Man! I don't know, it's like he's depressed and he's going through some kind of internal conflict and lost his powers. Well, why would that happen? I have no idea. Like, I don't know why they did that in the movie, it just made the movie weird. Oh, well, if he lost his powers, you want my translator to bite him again? No, I just I just don't understand what's wrong with him. Well, why don't we call a doctor? Well, I don't want the doctor to find out he's Spider-Man. Doesn't the whole world know he's Spider-Man? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I'll call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Uh, yes, doctor. Well, you see, I have a friend that has a problem. Well, okay, what's his problem? He's a doll! Shut the hell up, Joseph. Uh, no, well, you see, my friend has these powers that give him the abilities of, like, a spider. Oh, he's Spider-Man. No, I never said he was Spider-Man. I mean, he's kind of like Spider-Man. I mean, we might as well call him Spider-Man because he's so similar to Spider-Man, but okay, screw it. It is Spider-Man, okay? Spider-Man is losing his powers because he's sad. Why? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe because he's a doll. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say he lost his powers because of psychological distress, self-doubt, and his lack of motivation because of his financial issues, relationship problems, and educational struggles he's going through, you know? He probably just doubted his choice to be Spider-Man and hated himself because he couldn't balance his normal and superhero life. That's what I'd say. That's so lame. Can you hear that? He's saying you need to man up. Start being a Spider-Man and not a little spider-bitch. Get off the rack! Yeah, Ken. Hey, hey, okay, okay. I think what you should do is take your friend to a play to help clear his head. Yeah, I could take him to a play. Come on, Ken, let's go to a play. Finally, I've done it. I've created the world's largest disco ball. The power of party in the palm of my hand. Now all I need is a hot chick. Then I can party all night long. All right, Ken, let's just sit back and watch this play while we eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Honey, you must get ready. We have to go to my parents' picnic. Honey, you know I can't go to your family's picnic because I have to go to space. Oh, must you go? I have to go, you ho. <gasps> now stop talking back to me. Before I Neil Armstrong you in the face! <laughs> Son! Stop acting up and go to bed! It's your ADHD acting up! What the hell is this play even about? Am I interrupting something? Who are you? You're not part of the play! So, you're coming with me, sweet cheeks. <laughs> It's party time, P-A-R-T-Y, because I gotta. Go! Ken, your powers are back. Wait a minute, why do you want to save that girl so bad? Ah, what are you doing with me? I want to party, and with this disco ball, you can't help but dance. Must get jiggy with it. The whole world will dance. <laughs> No one's gonna stop my partying! No one! You're trying to stop my partying! Don't give me a refund for my pizza! Come here, you! I bet you wish you were dancing now! I'm not done with you! Time to die, Spider-Man! From dancing! Ken, why'd you want to save that girl? Oh no, why can't I stop dancing? <laughs> because of the disco ball I built, everyone in the world will die from dancing! That's really dumb. 
Well, the only way I'll stop it is if I get my $20 refund from my pizza! But damn, okay, man, here. <laughs> yes! That's it? That's all I had to do, really? Yeah, just get rid of this thing. I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to drown it in the river. But that's a pool. Yeah! 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 <sighs> Ken, he's dead. Thank you so much for saving me, Spider-Man. Get off him, bitch, he's mine. Well, guys, Ken finally got his powers back, and he defeated Dr. Octopus. He kicked his ass. Actually, that's not true. Dr. Octopus was winning. I mean, you can see what he did to Ken's mask. It, it was getting pretty bad. I mean, it's really a good thing he decided to grow a conscience, because he really had us on a platter there. I'm not going to lie, but he's dead now. He decided to push the disco ball into the pool, so he drowned. I don't really know how he drowned. You'd think with all those arms he'd be able to swim. I mean, he's an octopus. It's like literally their habitat, but... I mean, I guess his arms were made of metal, so maybe they were heavy and he just sank to the bottom and drowned? I don't know. He's dead anyway. You know, I feel kind of bad, because he really wasn't all that bad. He just wanted to make people party, you know? And really, he was only mad in the first place because we didn't give him his money back because we screwed up his pizza, so that's kind of on us. I mean, it's kind of Papa John's fault if you think about it. So is Ken okay? Oh no, Ken's fine. <laughs> He's my little Peter Parker. And I've got somewhere I'd like to park my Peter. Jesus Christ, I don't know if I can take any more, dude. Well, who's Ken gonna fight now? He's defeated all the bad guys. Well, now we gotta do Spider-Ken 3. So, you know, it's probably gonna be some black goo and some sand. So like this video if you wanna see Spider-Ken 3. That'll be cool. Yeah, it'd be really sick. Yeah. Now I get in here. Yes, sir? You're telling me Spider-Man fought Dr. Octopus and you didn't get any pictures? Sir, I don't know what you think my job is, but I'm a cop and a doctor, but I don't work for a newspaper. I don't care! I just want pictures of Spider-Man! Sir, I don't really understand why you want these pictures of Spider-Man. I mean, just Google it. Like, they're everywhere. I'll get you someday, Spider-Man! Dude, 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 guess what? I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger Party! PJ Crenshaw? Mary Jamie's Crenshaw! Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! You know, dude, look, it's right here. The invitation's right here. Oh, that's an official signature. Yeah, dude. Guys, 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 I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger Party. PJ Crenshaw? Mary Jamie's Crenshaw. Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! That one? Yeah, his signature's right there. Wait, he invited you to the Major Ranger? Yeah, and all this talk about Major Ragers is giving me a Major Rager in my pants. Well, why would he invite you guys and not me? I don't know, Junior. I guess we're just cool. Yeah, sorry, dude. Hey, what's up, haters? BJ Crenshaw! Hey, Jimmy's Crenshaw! Jimmy Dan's Crenshaw! Boys, boys, calm down. It's just me. Uh, PJ, Crenshaw, your coolness? You may speak. Um, I was wondering, since you invited both my friends to your major rager party, that maybe I just might be lucky enough to be invited to your party? <laughs> what do you think I came, bro? Bethany, give the man his invite. Here you go. You're so lucky. Oh my god! Guys! I'm invited to BJ's Major Ranger! That's a good thing too, Junior, because if you weren't going to that party, we never would have talked to you ever again. Yeah, you would have been a total loser, dude. Well, good thing I was invited, guys. Hey guys, all good! Uh, we're all going to a party, Jeffy. You want to come? Yeah, I want to come to a party. PJ, can he come? Oh, definitely not. But why? Because Jeffy tried to steal my girls one time, and that is an immediate no-no in PJ's book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, that's really sad, because he won't be invited. He'll feel left out. Yeah, I don't care. He's not coming. Well, 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 Jeffy's 18. Maybe he can buy stuff for your party that you can't get. Huh. Well, we do need root beer for the party, and none of us are old enough to buy it ourselves. Okay, I'll tell you what. If Jeffy brings root beer for the party, he's invited. You hear that, Jeffy? All you have to do is get root beer and you can go to the party. Okay, I can buy root beer. I even got my own car. All right, th there will be root beer there. Okay, good. So you bring the root beer, you're in. Come on, ladies. I want to bounce, and I'm not talking about leaving. <laughs> Guys, we're going to the Major Ranger. Anybody who's anyone's going to be there. Time to rage, dude! Yeah! Well, okay, so guys, let's go to the party! Right. Wait, 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 guys, guys, guys we, we have to get root beer for Jeffy. Oh, oh, yeah, we have to get the root beer first. Jeffy, let's go get root beer. You're driving us. Okay! Woo! PJ throws the best party! Yeah, he does! Yeah, yeah, I know how to throw a major rager. I thought you said there was gonna be root beer! Yeah! Uh, yeah, there, there will be. I, I don't know where that guy is right now. I'm leaving if there's no root beer. No, no, don't worry. There's, there's gonna be root beer. Wait, I think that's the guy right now. Uh, hello? We got the root beer. Oh, thank God, bro. The chicks were gonna leave. The chicks! chicks. Chicks we ditch? Yeah, come on in. Let's go! Oh, ladies, the root beer's here. Woo! Drink up. Boys, come on. What are you doing? Get some root beer. Let's party. <laughs> Oh, I've already drank five root beers! Drink up, this party's never gonna end! Dude, I'm gonna run on the roof! I'm gonna eat butt! Yeah! Uh, uh, oh, man. I drank so much root beer. Oh, no, the roof's spinning!
Joey, please make it stop. It's not gonna stop, Joey. That we're on a planet that's spinning. What? <laughs> junior, 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 Junior. I have to tell you, you're huh? hot. Huh? You're so hot! Oh, you're so hot, Vanilla Puff. Oh my god, do you want to go in my room and make out? <gasps> this is your house? Yeah, my dad's gonna kill me! Woohoo! Dude, you gotta do it, G! DTF! DTF! Now hold on, Vanilla Puff. Me and Joseph made a pact. A uh, blood pact. Okay. He said if I ever went to a girl's room, you're I'd, a girl. I'd have to invite him. Yeah, and I'm him. Okay. So he can come? Okay! Woo! I can come! I, I just got in there here. I, I lost my hand. What? Oh, Corey, what happened to your hand? Oh, wait. I put it in the garbage disposal. What? And he took it. And Joey, someone stole Corey's hand! Oh, who stole your hand, dude? I'll beat you! Who did it? Who did it? I promise! It was the disposal. Oh, okay! Disposal, show uh, yourself! Where is he? It's probably covered in biscotti. Okay, right that's it. We can clean it off. That's dude. it. We're gonna kick his ass. Where is it? Oh no! Pop Perella, mom. Pop Perella, me. She fell asleep. No one's gonna freak me now. Oh, well, hey, Junior. Junior, you meet me in the closet. I will rock your world. Oh, I will. I will, I will take that off. <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy. <laughs> hey, we're all out of root beer. Root beer. Can you go get some? Yeah, I'm going to drive and get it. Yeah, go get some more. Okay, okay we're going to go find your hand, Cody. Okay. And then we got to go to the closet. High five. You know what? I'm going to join you guys. Damn Forget it. it. Yeah. <sighs> I can't wait for this shift to be over. I really hope Penelope's not doing something stupid at home. Never left a home alone before. What? 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 Oh, my God. This guy's drunk driving. I got to go after him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Why is this road so curvy? Oh, oh, oh. drop my root beer. Mm. Oh my God, this man is not stopping. Pull over, you jackass. You're gonna hurt somebody. What the hell are you doing? What, come on, just pull over. Uh, what, what, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 he stopped, he stopped. Oh my God. Excuse me, sir, have you been drinking tonight? Hold on. Let me get something. Well, don't, don't, don't reach for anything. What are you doing? What? I had to get my root beer. What is it, root beer? <laughs> it sure is. Well, then why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing. What? Okay, I guess I can add littering to the list of charges. Step out of the car, please. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Okay, well, let me just... But, I'm sorry, do you think you're driving away right now? Because you're not. Screw you! Okay, it, it, it would be resisting arrest if you were. Okay, all right, that's it. Get out of the car. Come on. Hey, come on. don't come on. touch me! Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're gonna do a field sobriety test to see if you're drunk. Okay. All right, now try to say ABCs backward. I can't even say them forward. Okay, well then try to walk in a straight line. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, forget it. Um, try to touch your finger to your nose. No, that's that's not even close. Okay, how about this? Uh, count to five. Okay, that's it. Come on, come on. We're going to jail. All right, make your one phone call. Hey, stop! Stop it! Stop touching my hat. Just make your phone call. Uh, no, don't lick it. That's great. Well, no, you know what? Give it to me. I'll call him. Daddy. I'll call him. Hello. Hey, this is jail. Oh no, who got arrested? I caught your son drinking and driving. What? That is my dad. See mommy! What did Jeffy do? Uh, he was drinking and driving, I just told you. Well, well like, what, what do you mean we was drinking and driving? Don't, don't uh, chew on that. Uh, okay, I, I think you should just come get him, please. Oh, uh, I'm on my way. <laughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> <sighs> just get in there until your dad gets you. Stop uh, licking things, that's gross. Uh, You're gonna get sick. <laughs> You. Okay, I'm here. Get him. But Jeffy, stop that. Ah! Okay, what was he drinking? Well, see, that's the thing. He wasn't drinking anything bad. What? He was just drinking root beer. And I smack that bitch. I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> if he was just drinking root beer, why is he arrested? I, I, I don't know why he's acting like this, okay? But, but he, was, he was driving recklessly and he tried to resist arrest. So what? that's what I charged him with. Oh, okay, that's it. So, so, what, so how do we get the, jar, the charges dropped? Well, I'm going to need him to go to an AA meeting so that he can see that it's not funny to make fun of people who actually have problems. Rub my nipples. Oh, okay, so... Please get him out of here. Oh, we're going to go to an AA meeting. Come on. 
All right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit right here, and ooh, I can't even go over all the levels of grounded you are. What's the first level, and is the boss hard at the end? What's going on, Marvin? Jeffy got arrested for drinking and driving. Jeffy, how could you? You're not old enough to drink alcohol. It was root beer, and it got me fucked up. That's a gateway drink, Jeffy. It has the word beer in it. Yeah, Jeffy, you know no sodas after 8 p.m. Well, I'm a rebel. And no Red Bull either. Well, what's his punishment, Marvin? Well, the cops said he has to go to an AA meeting for his drinking problem. I don't have a problem with how much I drink. You have a problem with how much I drink. You were swerving all over the road. You could have killed someone, Jeffy. Jeffy, you're going to that meeting so you can learn your lesson. It was root beer. Penelope, I'm home. You better not have thrown a crazy party. W wait a minute. I hear music. I hate music. What, what the? Penelope! Ugh. All right, guys, we never speak about what happened in the closet. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. What are you boys doing in my house? Oh, shit, it's the pigs back in the closet. Oh, the news is here. Penelope! Everybody out of my way. I got my mad eyebrows on. Why do you have your mad eyebrows on? Because I want to ask your son a question. Where were you taking that root beer? To my belly. Don't you lie to me. I'll kill you. What, what's going on? My daughter threw a major rager at our house while I was at work. She invited that PJ Crenshaw. Pair of Jamie's Crenshaw? Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. Now, he seems pretty cool, but I'm pissed at your son for bringing that root beer. Well, why aren't you mad at your daughter? Oh, don't worry. I already gave her an earful of eardrops because she has an ear infection. But I will yell at her later when she feels better. Well, don't worry. We're going to take Jeffy to his AA meeting. Well, I'm going to take him right now because I'm so mad. Oh. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to AA, Addictions Anonymous. This is a space where we can all talk about our addictions and relate to each other so that we know that we're all struggling. Okay, Screwball, we'll start with you. Hi everyone, my name's Screwball. I'm addicted to every substance under the sun. I'm ordered by the court to be here, and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Screwball. Uh, how, how long have you been sober? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, th that's a good start. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. Hey, can I smoke this candle? No. Uh, okay, Judy, let's go to you. Hey, everyone. My name is Judith, and I'm addicted to BBC. Ever since I first had BBC, I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so delicious. I just love having BBC in my mouth. I just love bacon broccoli casserole. Oh, that does sound good. Oh, it is. It's something healthy mixed with something very unhealthy in one big casserole. And when I eat BBC, sometimes I like to watch BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. That's how I found out the Queen died. I was so shocked I choked on some BBC and I was like, <coughs> And my husband was like, honey, what are you doing? And I said, I'm choking on BBC. And that's when I knew I had a problem. But I'm proud to say I've gone a whole day without BBC. I'm proud of you. I wish I could go a whole day without blow. <laughs> See? Damn it. There I go again. All right, Judith. That's, that's good. Okay, Shrek, it's your turn. Hello, everybody. My name is Shrek. I am addicted to eating the Sarah cream, cream, cream cheese cake. And when I eat it, my butthole, it uh, separate and it looks like overbaked muffin with the steam possibly coming out and then it just kind of folds over the sides of the little cupcake pan and then it's just like steamy goodness. Just... Okay. Uh, screwball, could you please not smoke in here? Sorry, Doc. Uh, uh, Jeffy, it's your turn. Hey, everyone. My name's Jeffy. And I drank root beer, and I don't know how to drive really well, so I got in trouble for that. Well, he didn't learn anything. And you have two candles now. Okay, well, I still appreciate all of you coming out. This is a step in the right direction. And to everyone watching this video, thank you for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. And if you learn anything from this video, let it be that you should drive carefully and don't drink. Well, I mean, you can drink root beer, just not the second word in root beer, and definitely not while driving. And don't put candles in your mouth. Yeah, okay, that, that about covers it. I'm